Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I am calling it Doubting the Power of Christ. Doubting the Power of Christ. I'm going to read Matthew 13, verse 58 from the NKJV. Matthew 13, 58, NKJV, the New King James Version. And it says, now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Again, Matthew 13, 58, NKJV. Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Don't let unbelief keep Christ from manifesting things that that God wants to manifest in your life. It's interesting to me how so many people that I come across that say they love God and they believe in God and you know they you know they accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior and you know they they go to church. Some of them go to church and Bible study and prayer and intercessory prayer and you know watch all the you know what I'm saying the the christian um stuff and and then when you hear them talk and their action it's like okay you saying this but you saying you believe this and i wonder sometimes if the person even know that what they're saying and their action go against what god said that he can do in their life and in this, it says, now he did not do many words there because of their unbelief, because they didn't believe. So we have to believe, we have to believe that whatever it is, that God can change it. He can grow it, make it better. And, you know, like I learned a lot of time not to put like a cap on what God or put a ceiling or a box on God or what he can do. Because a lot of time when we pray, we are praying to God, well, we want it just like this. God, we want, you know, I got a bill and the bill is $50, God, and I just need for you to send me that $50 and just send it to me. And when you, you send it, I would um, like somebody to walk up to my house and put it in my hand. You know, you got it all spelled out how you want God to do it. And because you don't have the um, belief that God can do it so many other ways, you know. God could possibly, you know, he could he could have the company to credit your bill for some reason, you know, that they found a mistake, you know, from the past that they owe you money. He could have somebody go in and pay that bill for you. He could have somebody come bless you, you know, with the fifty dollars, but then an the extra fifty dollars to do something else with. He can have, you know, I mean he have so many ways of different to do things. I'm not God, so I'm not even trying to figure out all the ways that he can do do something. What I'm saying is a lot of time our unbelief. You know, and people say, Well, God, you know, he's not gonna send the money. I just, you know, and you have somebody to well, you know, money don't grow on trees and you know, not gonna do this, this, and that. And what I'm saying is that sometimes we our belief, our own unbelief, it hinders God from doing whatever he wants to do in our life. And I'm always like I'm saying, Okay, like God, whatever you want to do in my life, do it. I do it. Use whatever you need to use, whatever it means. And if I have a situation going on in my life, so God, you know, fits it how you see fit. Because you you all know, you know everything. You know all the anger. You know something that I miss. So however you want to um to to do it. So like for example, if it's a bill, I'm like, okay, this bill, I don't think this bill is right. And you and you're going back and forth with a company. Um, but this bill and say, okay, God, this is this is unfair. I know that I did the right thing and I was trying to do the right thing. This company keep trying to charge me this, and so you so say, you know what, God, um, I I would like for the bill to just to disappear. But God, you're God, so you know what to do. But I'm putting it in your hand. I'm commend this to you. I'm commend this to you, and Father, um, you however you figure it out, however you do, because I know God can do. I mean, many things He can make the bill disappear he can um ha like have them you know say you know what you're right this was a mistake on the, the on behalf of the company 
or you know what we don't know who mistake it was but we just gonna clear this um out and we're just gonna go for, um go for here if it happened again it's on you or they could say something like you know what the you know someone else can pay the, the bill or you know a guy can say you know what i'm i'm going you know that bill that bill is worth i'm just make up something a hundred dollars i'm just gonna bless you with five hundred dollars go ahead and pay the bill and, and and keep the and the extra to do whatever with so because of our unbelief or how we, we want God to do things, God has many ways of doing things. So we just have to commit to him and acknowledge him in this stuff. You know, and if it's sick, then say, okay, God, you know, we're so good. I know it's like, okay, God, heal me, heal me, heal me. And so many of us want instant healing. And I'm not saying anything wrong with instant healing. That is that is great. But you see so many people that have to go down a path that it may not have been instant, but yet they will heal, if that makes any sense. Like, for example, like, okay, God, you know, I'm sick, and I'm just not this, this, and that, and I, I would like to be healed right there, right then and there. And and God can be like, you know what, um, yeah, you can heal, but I need for you to change some things in your life, you know. I need for you to be walking the business. I need for you to um, start eating all that, you know, that, that bad process food or you know all that 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 fat that's clogging up your arteries you know but some of us choose that we're gonna do what we want to do and we're gonna do it how we want to do it and then we want god to step in and clear our, our mess all the time and we're not trying to change anything we're not we're not trying to you know we ain't trying to build our hill we're gonna eat exactly what we if we want 10 pieces of red velvet cake we're gonna eat it all 10 pieces in that day and if we want to drink 10 sodas that day we're gonna drink 10 sodas. And we want to drink we want to smoke three packs of cigarettes that we're gonna do we're gonna do you know what you know saying what you know saying what what whatever we want to do and we just because we don't really you know i guess either we say we believe but then it's like we just do we choose to do whatever we want to we want to do so don't let unbelief you know make your actions show that you know your actions be unbelief you know just always depend on god and know that I mean, matthew 13 58 he did not do many um mighty works there because of their unbelief and you'll see somebody else and somebody else like and they'll be like wow look how god coming in and doing this for her you know or doing this for him and you know why god doing that what what's different about him or what's different about her you know and people you you want people to be like you know what it's because i i believe in the word of god and i trust him and i have faith and you know i you know i believe that you know whatever the situation is that you know god God can change it. He can elevate it. He can make it better or, or whatever, you know, God's going to do. But my trust is in God, you know. And so with that, you it's just like a process that you just continue to grow in of just depending on God and trusting him and believing, you no, know, what it is. I mean, what it is, if it's from money to your health or to your spiritual growth or to, you know, whatever, you know, you say, well, I never um, own a, a house, you know, I said, well, that's your unbelief. You you know, you don't know what kind of stuff. I mean, that you can come across. I've seen people, um, people give people like houses and cars for a dollar. You know, I heard people say, Oh, I got this for a dollar. Somebody wanting to bless me because, you know, they said that I've been I'm like, I seen somebody say, you know what? My job gave me a raise and I, I make enough that I can go get that loan from the bank. I mean, however, it's so many ways that guy can um can do things, but because of unbelief. He's he's limited. He's limited to what he can do because we put him in a box and once said, well, God can't do this or you know or this person here they evil and the devil using that person and you know I'm thinking myself that person evil. So you tell me that evil person is stronger than God and that that evil person is stopping you? No, you you get on your knees and you start praying. You pray and talking to God about that evil person that's hindering you or you feel like that's hindering you. So um, don't don't give into like unbelief because that's what Satan has set up for us. He don't want us to believe that that God can do these things. And then when they don't happen, we're like, okay, I, I told you God can do it. But it's because of our own unbelief. So I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you standing on Matthew 13 and 58. In your word it says, now he did not do many mighty words there because of their unbelief. Father, I know I am still growing in this unbelief category and i know that sometimes just throughout just natural everyday living and talking that we can either jokingly or just say something or express something that shows unbelief and father i desire to continue to grow in this area and to just you know give you the glory and to trust you in all things and to know that you have so many ways that you can do something and that may I just, you know, just completely, completely turn things over to you 
and to grow. And so that way my unbelief won't stop you from what you want to do in my life. And not to just believe for small things, but believe for mighty things, you know, amazing things. Because, Father, you're an amazing God and you can do what you want at any time. So, Father, I am open for you to manifest whatever you want to manifest in my life and as i continue to grow father i just want to thank you for having your holy spirit to help me in this walk and thank you for sending your son jesus and thank you for you in jesus name i pray amen so just remember you know um don't doubt the power of christ he can do anything so whatever you got going on in your life right now whatever situation circumstance issue know that god can do whatever but don't let your unbelief hinder him and if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with jesus christ all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior it's just that simple and if you have a relationship with jesus christ just keep on growing that relationship talk to god more pray 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 as much as you can read your bible walk in obedience and that's what this is all about i'm dr lee thank you for joining me let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.